What's going on YouTube and welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds and today we're bringing you a first edition 2023 Range Rover Sport and we're going to be talking about the exterior, the interior and some specs about this exact car. But before we do, it is not a sponsored video. So if you guys do like our content, please like the video, subscribe to our channel because it really helps us out. We appreciate your guys' support here at Vagabond Builds. Also, here's our email. If you got something for us to film, email us so we can talk details later. A special, special shout out also to Nilo, Land Rover, and Jaguar here in Rockland, California, right outside Sacramento, for providing us this beautiful first edition Range Rover Sport for this review. Also, guys, stay tuned. We're going to be dropping that MSRP sticker and the price tag on this exact car. So for all you couch potatoes who want to just shop from your couch, you don't got to get up and you can shop right from this video. So now let's go ahead and talk Range Rover. So let's kick off this review with some specs about the first edition 2023 Range Rover. And of course, everybody, you're getting this beast of an engine, 4.4 liter V8 twin turbocharged, coming in at 523 horsepower, 553 foot-pounds of torque. A little bit about the MPG, which you should not care if you're buying this car. It is 16 city, 21 highway, and an 18 combined, eight-speed automatic transmission. Does come all-wheel drive, ele electric power assisted driving, electronic active differential with dynamic air ride suspension and that is about it now you have the options of getting in different trim packages you can get the 3.0 uh, liter six inline cylinder engine on these cars remember that take that into consideration it all depends what you're looking for uh, i know a lot of people like those six cylinder inline engines which i'm a big fan of too but i also like the big nice beast v8 of an engine now let's talk new 2023 range rover front end on this first edition okay so now we're going to see some slight differences because it's a first edition when we get over to the side of the car but right off the bat range rover in that 3d stamp like you do see coming in from the old model but what i like is the newly revised front end you, they add a grill. Remember, the older models get the two grills, but this is three. You got the top, the mid, and the lower grill. You got your camera integrated in the front with your sensor systems all across the front bumper cover. Different cuts around the fog light look area right here, giving it more of a sportier look, aggressive. So not boring, okay? It is luxury. It is class, but it's also sport, and they're just putting it all together in one package. Thank you, Land Rover. Now, coming down over to this lip very nice aggressive look on the lip with that kind of black gloss to finish off that front end look coming over down okay these headlights these are pixel led headlights take into consideration that if you go down a trim level to the se dynamic if you guys do check out our other video all right we did a comparison video and we had an se dynamic in there see these little pixels here it's like kind of jewel eye led lights you only get two in the SC Dynamic 2, where here at the first edition, you get four of those pixels for that LED. We left that uh, emergency light on, so you guys get an idea of how it looks. It does come with daytime running lights and um, automatic high beam assist integrated into these headlights. Now let's come over to the side of this car. Get a load of this beauty, man. Now, of course, right off the bat, different look on the side, okay? The side itself has different cuts from the older body style to the newer body style. You got diff different angles on the cuts themselves. Now, what they did here is they just made it more simple and minimal. What do I mean by that? That it doesn't look so busy from the older to the newer. Okay, we see differences on these, uh, on these little plastic bezels here that are on top of the hood and the fender. Why do I say we see differences? Because you're a little bit more sleek right on the design they kind of integrate with the panel of the car so they literally integrate with the hood and they integrate with that fender giving it more of a sleeker look itself different shape on the hood from the older one to the newer one okay 23 inches huge 23 inches because it's a first edition the red brake calibers and look up at the size of these brake rotors huge huge 
Everything's big. Air ride suspension with adaptive dynamic uh, settings. So they do have a mind of its own. Let's go over. Continuing now, I got the key in my pocket, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and lock, actually, which pocket? We're gonna go ahead and lock, so you guys get an idea. This does come uh, heated side mirror, blind spot assist, and auto fold, okay? When we lock, that's gonna fold. Light's still on, your camera's integrated for the 360 camera system, but look at that handle, okay? Different from the older body style. Coming over and it's just, again, sleek right just very sleek minimalist look just minimizing the uh the 3d effects on like handles and bezels and all that and just making it kind of look like one solid panel across the side of this car up top check this out the door panel itself literally comes to the window all right to where the older body style had those trims a lot of manufacturers put those trims here but no they kept this again simple and minimalist black gloss uh, trim around the windows and of course first edition you're gonna get a different contrast from the top of the car over to the side and the bottom that black contrast offset very nice on the first edition again look at the windows I want you guys to pay attention to something that window just kind of looks like one whole piece going all the way over from the back to the front now that pushes us towards the rear end everybody and look at that premium tail light blinking LED loving it with the Range Rover different look on this area here with a whole different look on the back end let's just say first edition comes with the quad tips okay towing capacity up to about 7100 with different look on the parking reflectors and the backup tail lights bumper sensors integrated into that lower side of the bumper cover camera right under the tailgate right here this is where you're going to open this tailgate okay there's a little button here but before we open that tailgate, I want to pay, bring your guys' attention to the double fins on the back. And what one of those fins are on the left-hand side is your live feed camera for that rear view mirror inside the car. And we're gonna show you guys that inside the car. And on the other one is like for like internet and the radio and all that good stuff, okay? You got your spoiler, a little bit different look on the spoiler, the cuts a little bit more soft, right? Not so aggressive and your parking brake integrated into that spoiler. One thing I just want you guys to uh, take a look at just, this is where the main difference is on these tail lights. Beautiful design on the tail lights, everybody. Just take a breath in and soak yourself in this rear end. It's nice. Let's go ahead and pop this tailgate. And this is the new lead look on this back trunk space. Now, right off the bat, those seats right there, that second row seating is a 40, 20, 40. You can drop those seats down and you could do that by these buttons right here. Let's go ahead and press those down, of course. And that just maximizes your space. If you need to uh, carry something like a dishwasher or you got a bike or you're heading up to the mountains with just you and your significant other, you can drop skis, snowboards back there and whatever you want, camping gear. And you can also drop the height to this rear end and minimizing the ground clearance and you can pick it up as well you also have a trailer option that let's say you're hooking up a trailer and you want to test the lights you press that button it's going to test all your lights okay now right under this let me show you guys show you guys something pretty cool if you guys kind of have that like if you want to tailgate and just kind of sit back here use this as a backrest that's another option and under this mat is going to be your full spare tire situation going on right under this mat. Tie downs, little bungee belt here, some hooks for some groceries, bags, or things of that sort. All right. And a trunk cover for anybody who wants to peek in your trunk so you hide your stuff from them. 12 volt outlet also. Let's go ahead and pick up those seats. And we're pretty much done with the exterior and the back side of the interior and some specs about this first edition. Let's go ahead and talk interior on it. Now coming to the interior side of the 2023 first edition and right off the bat, when you open these doors, you get a first edition illuminated door sill plate or the kick plate. Uh, that is different from different models because sometimes you just see Range Rover illuminated on those door sill plates. And let's go ahead and jump inside 
this car. And right off the bat, everybody, I'm just gonna tell you guys, these seats are amazing. They're literally like a lazy boy couch themselves. Perforated leather with electric controls, but oh look, the electrical controls are no longer here on the newer body styles. They are on the door panels, okay? Kind of reminds you of a Mercedes look, right? So on the door panels themselves, I'm loving how they brought the angles and the curves to the new door panels with that kind of chrome black look with that gray canvas, black leather wrap door panels. Now, depending on what color interior you get, these colors will change. Black gloss trim with that kind of uh, different look on the placement of your control unit for your windows. Remember, the old ones were up here to where the new ones are here, okay? You can control your uh, window locking systems, control your uh, side mirrors from here, all from right here, this little control unit, and your handles, your new handles are right here, all right? This is your new handle area with your unlock and locking button and personal pocket room for more stuff. Up top, Meridian Sound Premium. Get that, because it is beautiful when you got premium sound in your car. And it continues us open to the, um, Heads up display, sorry, I got a brain fart right there. With this newly revised and updated front dashboard system and just take a deep breath a second and breathe in this new look. I am a big fan of it with the 13 point inch infotainment screen, right? That's different because the old models had the screens integrated into the dashboard. Full digital cluster, which is a little bit more popped out, kind of protrudes out more. That is also different. And your steering wheel. Your steering wheel kind of looks the same, slightly different, not that big if you don't pay attention to it. But your controls, and like in the part where these are uh, illuminated when you turn on the lights with your kind of tripod or tri spoke steering, paddle shifters, control units for your windshield wipers, and your lighting systems. On the left hand side here, all you do is have a button for that tailgate in the back and your electric controlled steering column. And we all know that. Land Rover places their little knobs here on the right-hand side instead of the left, all right? You can change the display to that front cluster. Let's go ahead and show you guys quick. Now, we're not gonna go into great detail for the sake of the video. But let me show you guys. Display layout. We're gonna go to map. We can make that full navigation system. And then check this out. We go to display layout again. We're gonna go to focused. And look at that, just simplifies the look on the cluster. And you could also change the info card here on the left to make it on the right and this on the left. However you like it, uh, what you feel more comfortable with it, you can do that also. Let's shoot over to the 13.1 inch PV Pro system. Very reactive on the touch sensitive side. Now I'm gonna show you guys just a couple features. Full navigation, that big 13.1 inch navigation screen is just very nice and bright at night. Let's go back home and then come back to your camera system. And you get 3D bird's eye view all around the car so you're not crashing anything. Let's go ahead and show you guys different angles all around the car. Very nice, awesome option. Let's go back home and then I wanna show you guys, you can control your seats from here also like your heated seats, right? We could turn on cooled or heat or massage, right? We got massage, we could go to seat heat, massage or adjust. We could also adjust through here, not just the door panels. That is a very cool option you have. Just multiple options around this car. Climate control, of course. And one thing I wanna show you guys that's really cool, okay? Is when we go over to the heated seats, you have this little steering parking, okay? You're gonna press that and you literally have a self park assist option on this car itself. So if you do suck at parking, use this parking assist. It does great parallel parking. Awesome on that. We're not gonna do a tutorial or a look on it on this video, but that is a very cool feature to have. Now, of course, for the sake of the video, we're not gonna go too much in depth, but continuing right under that screen, you have a wireless charging pad for your phone. Apple CarPlay, Android Assist, and also you get Alexa integrated. These knobs have three different functions. If you push the knob once, 
You can control your seats, heated and ventilated front seats and back seats. Press it again, you can control temperature. But if you pull towards you the knob, you control the vent or the flow of the air in this car. Now remember, this is manual control. You could also control it through here with your settings right in the middle. Let's go ahead and push that. Shift knob looks different. Start and stop engine button is different. Comes over from here to the middle. And one thing that I really like that Land Rover did that. Why? Because everything is here. Literally, you're maximizing your space and you're getting rid of having to pick up your hand and touch the parking button here to where everything is here. So you start and stop your engine, park, drive reverse all from here. Hill decline assist. You do have low launch control and then you can go through different modes on this car and go into dynamic and the height of the car itself will change from sport, dynamic, eco mode, comfort, gra grass, gravel, snow, mud ruts, wherever you wanna take it, desert, all that, it has it here. Very cool. We're gonna keep it in dynamic mode. Now, cup holders, very big, wide and deep cup holders. Rather than that, you get more personal pocket space with USB-A and USB-C charge ports. Let's go ahead and pop this open and you have a refrigerator here. Let's go ahead and push that button. You can literally bring like maybe some soda, some water, chocolate, whatever you wanna keep cool. Enjoy a long road trip and drop it into this ice chest. Turn that off. We're gonna slide this back and close this. And up top, same idea from the old models to the newer model. Buttons look kind of different, but you can drop that and open this, all right? So you got two glove compartments with a 12 volt outlet plug in here. I just want you guys to take into consideration this black chrome look with the vents and how sleek this look is. Loving that. Sends us up top. Up top, you got your uh, live feed. Remember I was telling you guys about that camera over the rear end uh, by the tailgate? You get live feed camera and you can change the dimmable options so brighten or dim that uh, rear view camera. And you got your garage door openers up to three settings. Pick that back up. It is controlled by Homelink. Up top, full panoramic glass all the way to the second row seating. And that visor it does come back when you turn on the car. You can probably set that. And go ahead, tilt and slide option on this sunroof. But again, since we're up here talking about this sunroof, take into consideration that you get the suede from the A pillars to the B pillars to the C pillars and that beautiful Alcantara suede gray look love in that look now if you do happen to go like to the autobiography edition or trim packages this would be full leather okay that is also a very cool thing to have where you come into the car and you just get that really full leather smell I'm a big fan of leather okay now guys we're pretty much done with the front side of this interior let's go ahead and talk second row seating now second row seating, right off the bat, same look coming in over from the front to the back. The Land Rover did not simplify that back bench, perforated leather in that black ebony look with that plush uh, seat look, very comfortable, okay? Door sill illuminated plate. You don't have first edition written on it, but it's still illuminated. And the door panels look the same coming in over from the front to the back in that same black chrome with the black gloss trim leather wrapped and that gray canvas meridian premium sound and a sun visor all right so your windows are tinted and it's still bothering you you can pick up this sun visor that is also another option on this trim level let's go ahead and enter this car on the second row seating i'm about six feet two inches everybody now on the leg room you're clear and all the head clearance a lot more clear there and those angles on the seats you can drop those angles it's just very nice and comfortable for us tall people on those long, longer road trips, okay? In front of me, I got the back of the seats with the pockets. And in between the seats, back of the center console, you have the other dual climate control. So it's full quad climate control inside this car. And you can control the vents right here with your push and pull option. Now, back bench has heated and ventilated seats along with pulling that knob towards you and you can turn that flow up and control where do you want it, feet or in your face. Under that, USB-C plug-ins with your 12 volt and an inverter, so if you wanna bring an air fryer with you and cook some zucchini, I have no idea why you would do that, but you can also do that. 
drop this armrest. Very nice, classy armrest. Cup holders and some more pocket room. Up top, the glass comes over to the second row, like I said, so not, you're not feeling left out, whoever's sitting in the second row, so you don't gotta call shotgun and fight over the front seats. But that glass comes all the way over, so it kinda gets you intact or uh, in touch with the outside world while you're driving. The O'Shiznit handles with your lighting and your vents right over to the left and the right here with a little hook. I don't know why you would want, maybe a hanger for your dress shirt or your suit or things of that sort, because you're a boss if you own this car. All right, now guys, right before I finish this video, I wanna show you guys something that I forgot to mention in the front. Now you have an option to change your ambient lighting, right? And I'm gonna press that ambient lighting and you get that ambient lighting right under the dash, red ambient lighting across the dash. Very cool option to have and you can change the colors to that. Okay, now we're done. And as promised, we're gonna drop that MSRP sticker with the price tag. So you guys get an idea of exactly what comes with this car, the package and the trim, and the price tag to this car. So any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. We'll try to get back to you guys as best as possible. Thank you so much for watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds and appreciate your guys' support. Keep watching, we have more cool things coming.